The Toronto Raptors season appears to be spiraling out of control. Having lost six games in a row and sitting five games under 500 on the season, it might be time for the Raptors to start selling some of their players. And a player that many teams would have their eye on is, of course, OG Ananobi. So in this video, we're going to go through the rumors that the Raptors could land a Donovan Mitchell-sized trade package for the forward. Is it going to be possible? And should the Raptors do it? Let's get into it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Amateur Hour Sports, your source for the greatest coverage and analysis on the latest Toronto Raptors news. If you want to see more videos like this, and on top of that, live stream watch parties for every single Raptors game, then you need to be subscribed to the channel. You can help me on my road to 13,000 subs. We want to hit that milestone by the end of 2022. You can help us do it, and I know you will not regret it if you love the Raptors. Also, if you find yourself enjoying this video along the way, be sure to drop a like. It does go a long way to supporting the channel but the video in question is going to be all about og and anobi as you saw from the title as you saw from the description og and anobi might be the hottest player on the list of players potentially available for trade here by the toronto raptors it's pretty clear the season is beginning to spiral out of control 13 and 18 on the season six losses in a row and we are entering a really really difficult part of our schedule Last night, the Raptors lose by three to the Philadelphia 76ers. I've made my piece about that game. Yeah, it was a cool comeback, but down the stretch, that game was a very, very winnable game for the Raptors. You just can't get over the line lately. And the next few games, you have the Knicks at MSG tomorrow. Then you have the Cavs, followed by the Clippers, the Grizzlies, the Suns. Five really difficult games to end off 2022. So for anybody asking, do I think it's time to tank? Anybody asking, should this team start to sell their players? That decision to me should come at the end of that stretch, which would be on December 31st slash January 1st. At that point, I'm ready to come to terms with a decision about the direction of this franchise going forward. But it's very clear at this point that we could very well be trending towards another season where we are focusing and prioritizing on getting a better draft pick, just to put that nicely. And if we are going to do that, I really want to keep a lot of the core here together. Siakam, Barnes, OG are players that I would really want to keep in any sort of fire sale the Raptors could have going into the trade deadline. But you could really tempt me with an offer for really any player. No player in the league is untouchable, in my opinion, other than Giannis and Luka Doncic. Yeah, obviously some trades are unrealistic, but like, if you offer me Giannis for any of Siakam, Barnes, or OG, I'm obviously going to take that. But generally, I feel like they're mostly untouchable for the team because if you are tanking, if you are going for draft picks, you're looking to find players like an All-NBA player in Siakam, a borderline superstar there, a Rookie of the Year caliber prospect in Scotty Barnes, and an all-defense two-way forward like OG and Anobi. These are the coveted pieces that you are looking for that you already have, which was why this would not be a rebuild circumstance for the Raptors. It would once again be a retool for the team. But even so, I don't want to trade OG, but... If you tempt me with a really good trade offer, it might be something worth the Raptors considering here. Take a look at this. Zach Lowe on his podcast, the Low Post Podcast, by the way, huge fan of this podcast. And this is a guy who always gives his props to the Toronto Raptors. Right now, they don't deserve it. But when credit is due, he gives it to them very rare for an ESPN reporter. He said on a recent episode that the entire league wants OG Ananobi. This is something that I've also said many times. Everybody wants a player like this. But the entire league wants OG. Everybody wants OG Ananobi. If he gets traded, the price and picks are going to surprise people because it might be on par with almost what the Cavaliers gave up to get Donovan Mitchell. We know how good Donovan Mitchell has been this season. We know how much the Cavaliers gave up to get him. They gave away Sexton, Markinen, who both look like pretty good players, especially Laurie Markinen right now, along with three first round picks. It is going to be a massive haul if the Raptors are going to trade OG. Now, I don't think we're quite getting that sort of level of picks and players for a player like OG Ananobi, but this is a 25 year old on a really good contract who offers exactly what every NBA team needs wing defense, probably near the best top three, I'd say 
in the NBA. Like his on-ball defense might be the best in the league. He right now he is top three in the DPOY ladder. Like the defense this guy brings on top of the offensive end, how he can get to the rim, shoot the three ball really well. Like any team can slot him into their team, especially a team like, you know, one I've looked at is the Memphis Grizzlies. How he how good he would be for that team, how good he'd be on that Cleveland Cavaliers team. But regardless, in terms of the valuation, I don't quite think we're getting that Donovan Mitchell level valuation, but you can absolutely get a really good young player, maybe two, along with at least one first round pick. You're probably going to get two first round picks potentially in this whole ordeal. And if you're getting that, if you're getting one or two really good prospects, two first round picks, that might be an avenue in which the Raptors could proceed with. But it's all going to come down to if that is going to be available, which brings me to the team that could possibly offer up something of that stature. And that team, who was heavily linked with OG and an OB pre-draft in the offseason, is the Portland Trailblazers. The Trailblazers are punching a little bit above their weight this season. One issue in particular I have with that team, as far as their aspirations to really compete in the playoffs, is their lack of overall defense. Damian Lillard and Anthony Simons are really good players, but neither of them are that good of defenders. And the wing defense seems to be lacking for this team. And to make up the deficiencies with the guard defense, a player like OG and Anobi could be huge for this team. And what's huge for the Raptors in these discussions potentially is the fact that they have some really interesting young players, such as recent seventh overall pick and Canadian Shaden Sharp. Now, going into the draft, there were a lot of question marks about Shaden Sharp. And there were question marks of if the Portland Trailblazers were offering the Raptors that seventh overall pick to get OG, and that seventh overall pick ended up being Shaden Sharp. Now, there were some question marks about Sharp going into the draft. There wasn't a whole ton of information about him, but based on what we've seen so far early on in his rookie season, it appears as though this player is the real deal. Beyond that, there's some interesting younger players as well in this team, like Keon Johnson that could tempt the Raptors. Another decent forward like Nasir Little could also come the other way to kind of fill a little bit of that gaping void that OG and OE would leave within the team. And there's another forward like Josh Hart, an athletic forward who could provide some really good minutes for the Raptors going forward on the bench. Like these are players that the Raptors would 100% have interest in. And Portland really trying to make use of the Damian Lillard era here. It's very clear that they want to continue to be a winning team. They have Jeremy Grant on an expiring contract. They want to maximize the current team that they have here. OG and Anobi would fit perfectly into a starting lineup with Anthony Simons, with Damian Lillard, with Jeremy Grant, and Yusuf Nurkic. Portland could absolutely be a team that the Raptors look to exploit in these sort of trade discussions. I'm not sure what the availability of a player like Shaden Sharp would be, but that is something that that is somebody that you pretty much would have to get if you are even considering trading OG and Anobi. But regardless, that's a certain avenue in which the Raptors could pursue. And it's definitely something that you have to consider. But what would I do with this team? Personally, I think we can reflect on this Tampa season, the one where the Raptors did tank eventually. And it just showcases here that you don't need to lose all of your assets and completely rebuild here. Like I said originally in this video, if you're rebuilding, you're looking for the type of players that the Raptors already have. It is so remarkably difficult to get good players, especially players as good as somebody like Pascal Siakam on your team. So losing that, rebuilding, retooling, it's not a foolproof process to actually land players in the draft. And, you know, the expectations are going to be good players, but it doesn't always pan out in that fashion as we have learned. We're kind of in the wake still of that NBA championship where the Raptors lost a lot of their depth and just a lot of good roster pieces in order to actually win that NBA championship. Now, that's the price you pay for a championship. And well, it was well worth it. Let me be the first one to tell you that. But you're still lacking the overall depth and the overall just bench pieces to this team. You know, the bench mob era, the next man up era, it's kind of gone because you lost a lot of the next guys up in those trades to get guys like Marcus Gasol, to get guys like, let's say, Kawhi Leonard. To make those trades, you had to lose players that were an important part of your depth and an important part of your team overall. It is what it is. I feel like we're kind of still in the wake of that process here, and we need a little bit of time to just get all of that back. But one way to do that could be trading one of your key assets, but trading OG, like I said, nobody is untouchable. You have to give a really, really good offer, but if the Raptors continue down the path that they're currently on, 13 and 18, again, I'm not making that decision until January 1st on where the Raptors should go with their season. Stay tuned for that December 31st video when I reveal my status on this team, by the way, but 
I'd like to keep OG, Siakam, and Barnes, retool around them. Those are the players that are worth building around as far as with the rest of the season. Look, we'll make that decision when we get there. There's ways around it. There's resting guys. There's doing certain things with, with injuries to get the guys off the court and get yourself in a better draft position. But this season isn't too far gone just yet. The Raptors, if they can pull together some sort of win streak, we can get back on track. But as far as trade discussions go, there's possibilities out there. And especially according to Zach Lowe, ESPN reporter, there could be a huge trade on the way for the Raptors involving OG and Anobi. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments if you think the Raptors should trade OG and Anobi before the trade deadline this season. And please make sure you have dropped a like on this video. And if you want more Raptors content just like this, videos and live stream watch parties for those Raptors games, make sure you are subscribed to Amateur Hour Sports. Help me on my road to 13,000 subs. And I'll see you again tomorrow for Raptors watch party and on Thursday for another video.